so just an overview of this scene for those of you who are actually interested uh, so what I have going on here is I just have a snowfall um, material which just uses a transparent background and I have made a particle system with two different emitters using GPU sprites and they're both going in different directions so one is kind of forcing more towards the x-axis this is just getting out accelerated just to give it a nice effect I'm using a combination of post-process volume uh, exponential height fog and also some atmospheric fog to give it a nice look. Um, the tree down here, the trees, I just made a quick one uh, from Tree It. You can check the video out on my uh, YouTube page for that as well. And then if I just play the scene, so what happens is I'm just using a sequencer to set up a basic scene where um, I just set up a few, uh, I just combine a few animations together. And so our uh, character runs up to a to a grave, to, to a grave, a seemingly grave, and then he just falls down here. And then obviously the camera moves up. But this was just to give you guys an uh, outlook on what the scene actually looks like and what the potential is here. So we will just move on and get on with it straight away. So to begin with, we will start with a new project and we will select the template third person and then we will do next and we will stick to blueprint maximum quality this is fine and desktop console and I will remove the starter content I do not need the starter content in this then I will name this and I will just name this snowfall tutorial and then create this project Now the first thing we want to do in here is we will go to our content browser and in here we will just make a new material. We will call this m underscore snow and we will create, so right click and create a new particle system. We will call this p underscore snow. And last thing we will do is we will just make sure that we have in here our atmospheric fog and we will head over to our modes on the left side and then go to visual effects and we will drag in the height fog as well in here and if you can just drag and drop this uh, just anywhere in our scene and just select this and move it up uh, we will try and move it up right here under render now we are set up for the basics Now the first thing we will do is I will go to my import and I will bring in this snow texture which is a PNG file and it has a transparent background. I got this from the internet, you should be able to find some on the internet as well. I will right click this, uh, instead actually we will open our material that we made earlier, the snow material and then just drag and drop this in here. Now we will maximize this and in here we will do two things. First of all, we will connect our RGB into the emissive color here. We will select our M snow in here and change the blend mode to translucent, the shading model to two sided foliage, and lastly, we will go ahead and uh, select two sided on here. Now we have our opacity down here. So I will change the preview mode to a plane so I can see what's going on. And we can connect our A, which is our alpha for the transparency, into the opacity here. And now we should have what looks like a snow texture, for, like a flake from both sides is two sided. So we can go ahead and apply this. And then save. And let's close this. Now we will go ahead and open up our particle system that we created earlier. And I will bring this down here. Now to start off, we will select up here and right click and change the type data to GPU sprites. 
in the spawn I will go ahead and choose a distribution rate of 1000 in the lifetime in the D distribution I will make them both 5 and 5 in the required up here we will select our snow material and drag and drop this in the material down here now next we will go to our initial size down here I will open this up and I will change the values here to 10 for the max and 5 for the minimum on each of the axes next we will go ahead and select the initial velocity and then the start velocity I will set here the values of 0 0 and minus 100 minus 500 in the max and minus 100 in the minimum then we'll choose 0 and 0 in the minimum we will delete our color over life. We do not actually need this. Next, we will right click here and we will add orbit. So we'll look for orbit and we will select orbit. And in the offset amount, I will just set minus 100 and 100 in the x axis. And I will just select 0 in the y. We do not need anything on the Y. Now we will go ahead and look for location in here. So right click location, find initial location. And I will distribute this over values of 1000, 1000 and 1000, and then minus 1000, minus 1000, and minus 1000. Once this is set up, we will go ahead, right click, and add uh, acceleration and select constant acceleration in this if we open this up further the only value I will change is the set axis and I will add here minus 100 that's all now we can go ahead and right click on our main sprite go to emitter and duplicate emitter now in this we will only change two things we will select the initial velocity and we will add in the max x and y 25 25 and the minimum minus 25 and minus 25 and then in the constant acceleration we will go ahead and choose a value of 200 in the x-axis now the snow starts going towards one side as well at the same time now we will save this and just do a quick check so we will go ahead and drag our snow out here and now as you can see our snow is starting to look pretty decent and it looks fairly natural now this issue that we have here when we move our camera uh, it starts to clip we will go back to our particle system choose this arrow down here and set fixed bounds and we can set the bounds here now if we go back and move around it, our store stays visible regardless. Now we'll just click save. I will go ahead and I will go to our content browser. And inside here, So uh, inside the blueprints, I will open level blueprint and in here, first thing we will drag in, we will select our particle snow system and right click create a reference to this. From this we will drag off a node and say get actor location. Next thing we will do is we will just say get player character and then just get actor location. When we have these two, we will use even take. So I will call this every single take and we will say set actor location. If I uncheck context sensitive, it should be able to bring that up. 
Now the target for our um, set actual location is our snow, so if we'll move our snow around and we need to get the location for the player's current position within the game. So we will use here something called uh, interp. So we'll use v interp2. We can turn on the context sensitive, I guess, afterwards. And now our current location of the snow is this value down here. And our per, uh, player character's location, which is our target, is down here. And in the delta time, we will just do uh, so get game. We click the concept, uh, context sensitive, get game time in seconds. And in tab mode, I will change to 5, so it moves to the player fairly quickly. The return value from this then goes in to the new location that should be set for our player. We will select everything, press C. And just say snow follows player just to be a bit more organized. Now, if you go ahead and click play, as we move around, you should be able to see that there is snow everywhere. It's just not going to end. To do a better test, what I will do is I will press escape here. I will delete this third person character. We do not actually need this. And I will select this floor. And let's just um, change this to 10 and 10, so it's a lot bigger, so we can run around. As you can see, our snore basically ends about here. So if we click play now, we go running around. And no matter how far we go, we should have snow following us around. Now we'll press escape, save once more, and just go back to our scene. Now our next step is we will go ahead and adjust our scene to look quite decent so it looks more like a like like it should be snowing here. So first thing we'll do is we'll actually go ahead and select our atmospheric fog. Now I just have some values which I've been experimenting with but this is all something you guys can play around with. So the sun multiplier I will turn up to 20. The fog multiplier I will turn to 10. The density, I will also use 10 here. And then the offset, I will use 0 0.5. And the start distance, I will set to, let's say about 100 or 200. 100 is a bit too close. <clears throat> Next, we will select our exponential height fog. And in the fog density, I will turn this up to 0 0.05. The fall off, let's just reduce it to 0 0.001. Let's just set the color to pure white. And I believe the next thing we can do here, I think this is fine for this. So we'll go ahead and select our light source. We'll make this movable first of all. In this light I, intensity, I will use a value of 0 0.5. This can stay white, and then I think this should be fine for this. Lastly, we'll go ahead and find our post-process volume. Scroll down. Down here, I will use infinite. And then if we head over to bloom, first of all, I will turn this up. And I will change the value here to 2. Next, what we can actually do is, if you wanted to, you could go here and choose Dirt Mask, and then let's see if we can find a texture in here. So we don't actually have any texture in here, but you could set up a noise texture here. You could download those very easily uh, from, from the internet. Just make sure you use free ones that don't have any copyright on them. Then you can set, set up a mask here. For example, if I use this snow texture here, and if I turn this up, you can see I will have the texture show up here so that so if you had a noise texture that would give you a bit more of a feeling that you're outside and there is a texture on there. Now this is set up we'll just click play and we'll see what our scene actually looks like. It's not looking too bad at all. Yeah so the snow is still following us around but all these values are something you guys can adjust based on your scene, the time of day and anything else that you need to work with. 
So thank you very much for watching guys. Uh, feel free to um, subscribe and I will be uploading more content soon. If you want your voice to be heard, just uh, make sure you uh, check out my Patreon page and on there I will be um, posting more options for people that actually support me so they can have their, their voice heard before everyone else's and I will basically um, follow their, uh, their, their suggested um, tutorials. I will make those first and I do have a, have a website so, so check that out and I will try and organize all this in, into one and then let's try and form a community here and let's explore and learn Unreal Engine together.